Good morning, hello there, and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. This is Justin Mott, and now it's time for your local and area news. Top news story this morning. The Shelby County Sheriff's Office is seeking the whereabouts of Juan Tremaine Tut. Tut is described as a black male, 5'11", and weighing approximately 150 pounds. He has active felony warrants for abandoning and endangering a child and deadly conduct. He is also wanted for failure to appear driving while intoxicated. Tut is suspected in another case the Shelby County Sheriff's Office is working on for possession of a stolen firearm and unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon. If you have any information about his whereabouts, please contact Investigator Mandy Fears at the Shelby County Sheriff's Office at 936-598-5601. That's 598-5601. This past Friday evening, October the 26th, at around 9.41 p.m. at the Center High School football game, a student was told by another student that there would be a shooting at 10 p.m. The students who received the information made a prompt report to the school officials who immediately notified local law enforcement. The school district is grateful for local law enforcement and their quick and effective response. The student who made the threatening statement was located and taken into custody. Because this is a student disciplinary matter, the school district is prohibited by the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act from providing any student identifying information. And now moving along into community news this morning, Santa Claus is coming to town at the Shelby County Chamber of Commerce building at 9.15 this morning. Yes, Santa Claus is coming to town on Halloween Day. And speaking of Halloween, there are a lot of different fall festivals going on. In Joaquin, there's a fall festival this evening. A Joaquin Special Events member tells us more. This is Marcia Barnett. I'd like to invite everyone to come out to our fall fest in Joaquin. On October 31st, from 4 to 8, the Special Events Committee will be hosting a fall fest and hunt retreat in downtown Joaquin. If the weather's bad, we will still try to have it in Joaquin in the downtown area. If not, we will meet at the Methodist Church and still have the Fall Festival. If everything is free to the public, we just want to bring the community together. In Tenaha, there will be a Fall Festival as well this evening from 6 to 8 p.m. on the downtown Tenaha Square. If it rains, they're going to move it inside the Tenaha School. In Timpson, there will be a Fall Festival this evening at the First Baptist Church. And trick-or-treating events all throughout our area. Here in Center, Holiday Nursing and Rehab will have their trunk-or-treat from 4 to 6. First Baptist Church and Center, trunk-or-treat from 5.30 to 7.30. First Methodist Church, trunk-or-treat this evening from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. And in St. Augustine, trunk-or-treat on the downtown St. Augustine Square, rain or shine at 5 p.m. The New Life Church and Center will have scare tactics at 7 p.m. And fall book sale going on at the Fannie Brown Booth Memorial Library all week this week, continuing through Saturday. Paperbacks are 50 cents. Hardbacks are $1. For more news, check out our Facebook at Center Broadcasting Company on Facebook or visit our website at cbc-radio.com. That's cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go. This has been Justin Mott with your local and area news, encouraging you to go out and be amazing. cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.